Okay, and this is where you had your 5.8 and you had a 4.2 and a 3.4 cents. And here is your Colorado system. This system affects California. We had a 4.2 over where I'm at this morning. And here's New, this is Oklahoma. And you had a couple little things right here in New Madrid. So New Madrid's right in between both of these quakes. This is continental bowing effect, folks. This is when you get a ton of weight in here, a ton of weight off here, a ton of weight off here, it starts to bow the coast. And it, and it bows inland, and it triggers quakes. Now this earthquake was because of the weight that's out, out over here. And it's pushing the piping systems. That's why you had that quake in New York. Uh, a few months back and now you got a quake in Washington and this is the second one in Washington uh, Washington the one last year I think was a 3-9 and now they're escalating as more and more weight comes in over here on this area it's you know you've got islands that are sinking here in the Bahamas and and one of them rising so you got all kinds of piping system plays you know they're lifting up areas and dropping areas Welcome to post-glacial rebound effect. <laughs> but, you know, I could see a lot more stress right above here in Oklahoma going towards Wichita, Kansas. I mean, that's that's where I'm seeing it, man. Uh, and you got all kinds of nuclear power plants all over the place. This is not good. Okay, this is the Yellowstone Observatory map. And over here in Mammoth Vault and Madison River, then this this took place and and you can also see some other activity during the Colorado quake so the piping systems over at Yellowstone got disrupted uh, a lot in Madison River okay you throw that in there deep Icelandic current confirmed okay this is why you had your quakes all right right here you have a newly discovered current coming in over here and this is this is where you had a series of earthquakes yesterday you had a 5-4, a 4-6, a 4-6 this is off the coast of the United Kingdom and this is Greenland and then you have Iceland and this is how the North Iceland jet is coming down so we got so much water leaving so much ice leaving now that it, it's changing the ocean currents and this is a deep current uh, and it's triggering earthquakes and we already had a series of earthquakes down over in this region let me switch it over here down over here so uh, there's a whole bunch of new water here is the you got the wild card which I've talked about you know, 400 gigatons of weight that's come off of this this Greenland ice sheet. You know, plus all the the water that's coming in from the Arctic. I mean, this current used to circulate and come up, but now it's coming straight down, and it's ice cold, which is going to set up Europe for some very cold weather. Okay, I'm going to add some parts to this video. This is Scott with the Believers Underground. Now you've had back-to-back -back earthquakes in Colorado in Virginia. Now you had an earthquake up in New York at 3.4. Uh, th this is piping system stuff. This is continental Boeing stuff. It, you know, it, uh, but you have underground bases there in Virginia and Colorado. And the one in Colorado, that earthquake was only 2.5 miles down. They were sitting right on top of that earthquake. It's not like having an earthquake 100 miles away happening. Okay, and then you feel the the vibration from it from 100 miles away. It works the same way going up and down. If that quake's 100 miles down, then it takes 100 miles to finally get to that, that place in, in that area and shakes it. So they don't feel it as strong. But when you're sitting right on top of an event, you know, especially the, all their underground uh, tunnel systems over in Colorado, I mean, and 2.5 miles down, they were sitting right on top of it. Who knows? what kind of destruction and damage happened in those tunnel facilities okay same in virginia as you have a nuclear power plant shut down and that nuclear power plant was only built to withstand a 6.2 earthquake folks you think about that you think real hard as they're venting steam out of that thing okay 
We know why they vent steam out of those facilities already. It's so the hydrogen gas doesn't build up and cause an explosion. And they're venting. Don't kid yourself. And this, this, this post-glacial rebound effect is happening globally. Peru just got hit with a 7.0 yesterday. Vanuatu a 6.2. Uh, Coral Islands just got hit with a 5.1. You know, it's going more and more and more and more. Don't get caught up in the BS show. But who knows what kind of uh, uh, long-range nuclear missiles they may have had in those silos, in those underground facilities. And you pierce the casings of those things, that jet fuel is toxic as it gets. It'll kill everybody in its path. Who knows how many deaths are going to go unreported in these tunnel systems in Virginia and Colorado. Like I stated before, man, you think it's bad up here on the surface. It's ten times worse underneath the surface. <laughs> and these rich, they think they're going to do this stuff and, and do their idolatry and get away with it? <laughs> you think God's going to be mocked? <laughs> yes, again. Anyway, I love you. Information shock resistance. I don't want you to panic. And I don't want you to be in shock. The, the, those two things will kill more people than the advantage itself. Okay? And that's why I inform you with the information. You know, this is the next morning from the second part of this video. Yeah, I put in a 20-hour day, and yeah, I had like an hour and a half sleep. And so now you know the Earth's in a lot of trouble, and we got a new uh, river system in the ocean. And you know, it's we'll see how the hurricane rolls out. Uh, if the Atlantic Ocean is circulating enough, then that that hurricane's going to hit coast. And it's not the winds you got to be concerned with. It's the rainfall. These hurricanes are sucking up five to ten times the amount of water. The, the, your NASA already confirmed you'd lo you're losing a, a foot of new water in the oceans. That's equivalent to two feet covering of water covering every inch on this planet. You see, you know, yeah, I'm going to talk about God, man. Because he's a loving God. And this is not love. When you got nuclear fallout falling all over you, destroying your ice pack, de destroying your families, as they crowd in the public sector and stuff, and, and, and everyone serving idols. This article of incorporation, it's a piece of paper they gave life to. It's an idol, including the United States. Okay? In, in 1862, it, they became incorporated. That wasn't a problem. You can be incorporated all you want, okay? But when they give life to that paper, it became an idol. And that happened in 1917. So now the United States is an idol. When your church fills out a 501c3, Articles of Incorporation for your nonprofit status, you join with the state. You married with the state, and these states are idols. They've been given the legal rights of a person. It's a piece of paper. It's an idol. It's made of wood. It's a hardcore sin. Uh, imagine a man having a, a a girlfriend or a wife. Okay, and and that wife is jumping in bed with another right in your face. Okay. That's what idolatry is when it comes to God. He wants you to, to line your will with his will, which is the proper use of the will, or line, connect your spirit with his spirit, okay? Because we're spiritual beings. But when you're jumping in bed with idols, it's the same as you having sex in front of your partner, and he's not happy with it. He is very displeased with it and it hurts him because God has feelings come out of the idolatry this earth is going to be humble to its knees because it's serving idols rich poor slave free it don't matter if you're co-signing this system of incorporation this piece of paper they gave life to this idolatry it's over. 
You can put your head between your legs and kiss your butt goodbye. Because either you're going to serve God or you're going to serve Mammon, the God of this earth, in corporation. It's one or the other. Because if you think you're going to say, oh, praise God and praise Jesus and stuff, and, and then you're going to be involved with this idol, it's like having sex in front of him. You think he wants to hear from you? Huh, guess again. Man, he ain't going to knock you on your right off your feet with a reality punch. And, you know, the, it's not about the messenger, okay? It's about the message. Now, you can either believe God and back him, okay, and believe his messengers and back his message that's being delivered onto all flesh, because this truth is getting poured out. You're in Paul's Glacier rebound effect. And it lines up with scripture by the numbers. And you're seeing the signs in the heavens too. Okay, and that's going to impact the earth. <laughs> and why? It's because he's a fiercely jealous lover. He loves you. He doesn't want you in bed with idols. And you're all up in bed with them. You think he's happy? You think he's pleased? As his message gets gets hammered, you know, the, the messenger, we always get hammered, okay? But his message is what's important. And when that message gets hammered, then you're hammering him personally because it's his message. And that is not wise. That's foolishness. Like giving life to a piece of paper called Mr. Fukushima. Giving life to Mr. Chernobyl. Giving life to Mr. BP. Giving life to this war machine of incorporation. This god of war. This god of greed. The love of money, the root of all evil. And they turned it into a demigod when they gave that paper life. You think God's pleased? He tossed the money changers' tables. He got Jack for 30 coins. They whacked his son. And you're going to throw in bed with these idolaters? And these people fornicating with idols? Come out of that stuff, man. Take your sovereignty back. Because God ain't going to be mocked. And this earth is in major distress. And there's a major spirit of stupor or slumber or sleep on this planet right now. This stuff is happening right in front of their face and they don't even see it. You know, this is a spiritual fight you're in, folks. Don't forget that. Alright? And God can use a, uh, oh, he can make the rocks sing out, you know. He could, he can use a, a, a can. He can use a donkey. He can use whatever he wants. Okay. But you back the message, not the messenger. Because then you're backing him. So his message can get out there to everybody. Simple stuff. And man, get your sovereignty back. This is America not United States Incorporation, okay? That's idolatry. And that's why the money's cursed. And that's why you're going to see these major areas get wiped out and destroyed and leveled. Because they won't come out of this idolatry. So you better have a plan. And God loves his bride. You even attempt to try to hurt his bride, he is going to have your butt so quick, it'll make your head spin. Anyway, I love you very much. Information shock resistance. Get into the word, man. Just get it in you. All right? Set you free on all this nonsense. Liberty Broadcasting Network. Entertaining. I feel good that I'm keeping myself informed. It's great. They say everything that people want to say, but they usually don't. Can you handle the truth?